What do these diagrams have to do with the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality? Let's find out. Start with a right triangle with legs of length A and B. Use four copies of the triangle, rotated, so that we create this shape, which is a square with a side length of A plus B. Inside, there's a missing square. Reflect each triangle about its hypotenuse, creating this diagram using eight triangles. Notice there's still a missing square inside. To verify that this missing inside shape is a square, notice that the side length can be computed as the difference of the leg lengths of the original triangle. So we see that the square has a side of length A minus B. Now we can find the area of this shape in two different ways. First, we note that it is an A plus B by A plus B rectangle, so the area is A plus B quantity squared. On the other hand, we've used eight triangles plus the inner square, so we have an area of eight times a half AB plus the quantity A minus B squared. We can simplify the eight triangles to have the area four times A times B. Now we note that the quantity A minus B squared is always non-negative, so if we leave it off, we obtain the inequality A plus B squared is greater than or equal to four times A times B. As we vary A and B, we see that the inner square gets larger and smaller depending on the sizes of A and B. But we also note that the square is always there, except in the one instance when A and B are exactly the same, so that that square shrinks to zero area. From this we conclude that we have equality amongst the inequality if and only if A minus B is zero, so that A equals B. Upon taking square roots and dividing both sides by two, we obtain the inequality A plus B over two is greater than or equal to the square root of A times B. This is the arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality.